Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Nathan, and we're working on his go to bed and to sleep it. Now, go to bed is definitely a very useful skill to have when you have dogs, but to really test the accuracy, I'm going to be combining it with the leave it because the ideal scenario is that while you're cooking or while you're preparing something in the kitchen, you can put Nathan in a go to bed position and not worry if food drops on the floor that could potentially hurt him, such as grapes and onions and you just know that he's not going to move from that position while you're cooking and able to leave him unsupervised. So what I'm gonna do, Nathan, stay. I'm gonna start dropping the food around, but I'm gonna precursor it with leave it. So Nathan, leave it. Yes. And I'm gonna treat him every time he does. Stay, we're gonna do that again. Nathan, leave it. That time I actually dropped it. <laughs> Nathan, leave it. Yes, good boy. You see, he is interested in the food. His ears are perking out the steak. He's looking at it, his tail's wagging. But the important part is that he's not moving from the mat, which is really nice. I'm gonna do that a couple more times. Nathan, leave it. Ah, ah, ah. You see, unfortunately, he did get that one. So I'm just gonna bring it back. Go to bed, stay. We're gonna try that again. This is why we always start with food in case he does get a hold of it. Nathan, leave it. Yes. Stay. Do that one more time. But that's what you would do in the case if he breaks. So we are not going to reward him. We're just going to bring him back, put him back down, try again. Nathan, leave it. Yes, good boy. We go ahead and tap him in the knees. Okay. And now he's free to get up and eat the treats as needed. But really nice job for Nathan today. He only broke once. And of course it was very difficult because it was a rolling treat. It was moving. Much more difficult than if I just dropped it in the state stationery. But really nice job for Nathan today. He did fantastic.